I actually like this little ratchet a lot more than I thought I would. Isn't as great as my snappy brand ratchets, but much better than the junk craftsman I had at home for years. Flex portion is usable, nice and tight clicks, with a positive feeling switch. If anything were to fail, I'd think it would be the switch. But I've been surprised by how durable some actually are for the price. I'd buy another for home or even as a spare at work. These are the kind of tools I keep around in my work box as a just in case I loose break my primary ratchet because they work well enough you aren't hating life using it. Also are the type I would let a salesman service writer borrow when they come begging for a tool because they don't want to charge the customer for something easy. I like this ratchet so much I bought a spare. I wish someone would make a small torque wrench with the 120 tooth ratchet concept. Tired of tight spaces and large angular increments when talking fasteners pros. 120 tooth. 3 degree. And tight. Very little slop. Excellent finish. Off and on are stamped on the head. So far very durable. Have used this wrench a lot over the last year or two with no problems. Still seems tight as new. This is the flex head version. And the flex head is tight. Strong. And works well. Rarely a problem with the flex head flexing when not wanted cons. No button on the head. No option to better lock socket or extension to ratchet. Ball bearing is tight with strong spring so this hasn't been a problem. When your buds realize how nice this ratchet is. The ratchet might disappear you have the whole set of 1 stroke 4. 3 stroke 8. And 1 stroke 2. And find that the 1 stroke 4 is the most used. Followed by 3 stroke 8.